Today, we're going to be showing you how to program your two-outlet hose faucet timer. Orbit timers are known for their dependability and simplicity to program and use. Let's get started. Programming is done by turning the dial counterclockwise and following these steps. First, you'll need to set the current time. Turn the dial to Set Clock. Use the plus and minus buttons to select the current time of day. Hold down the buttons to scroll more quickly to the desired time. Pay particular attention to the AM and PM. After the correct time has been set, use the arrow button to move to the days of the week on the bottom of the LCD, and then the plus and minus buttons to select the correct day of the week. Once you have set the current time and day of the week, turn the dial to Start Time. This timer has the ability to set up to three start times. Only one start time is required to use this timer. However, adding multiple start times to your program can be useful to allow you to customize watering to your needs. You can add multiple start times to one or more stations, or you can split the stations into their own start times for different watering requirements. Use the plus and minus buttons to select the time you would like watering to begin. Hold the button down to scroll faster to the desired time. Next, you have to tell the timer which station you would like to water with that start time. The default is both stations. You can water both stations with the same start time, and they will run consecutively. To change to only one station, press the station button to toggle between the two stations, and press the minus button to remove a station from that start time. If you would like to add multiple start times, Press the arrow button to move from start time A to start time B or C, and add the desired start times using the plus and minus buttons and station button as before. Once you have set the watering start times, turn the dial to how long. Enter how long you want the timer to water for each station, per start time you have set for that station, from 1 to 360 minutes. Press the station button to toggle between station 1 and station 2. Use the plus and minus buttons to select your watering duration. Please note, you are setting watering duration per start time. So if you have three start times set for a station and set a watering duration of 10 minutes, your timer will water a total of 30 minutes. Once you have set watering durations, turn the dial to how often. Finally, you'll want to tell the timer how often to water for each start time. You have the option of selecting specific days of the week to water or to select intervals from every hour up to every 12 hours or once a day up to every seventh day. Use the arrow button to toggle between start times A, B, and C and press the plus button to enter how often for that start time. To select specific days of the week, use the arrow button to toggle between days and press the plus button for each of the days you want the timer to water. A square will appear around the days you have selected. To remove a selected day, toggle to the day and press the minus button. Instead of watering on specific days of the week, interval watering allows you to specify the number of hours or days between watering. The timer will water at the next scheduled watering time. For example, if today is Monday at noon and you set your timer to water every four hours with a start time of 5 a.m., your first watering will be today at 1 p.m. If you set an interval of three days with a start time of 5 a.m., the first watering would be tomorrow at 5 a.m., and then the next watering would be Friday. However, if you set an interval of three days with a start time of 7 p.m., your timer will water today at 7 p.m., and then again on Thursday. To set interval watering, use the arrow button to toggle to interval, and use the plus and minus buttons to select your desired watering frequency. To add a watering frequency to the next start time, use the arrow button and toggle through the remaining days of the week on the bottom of the LCD, and it will return to the start times at the top. Add how often for every start time you have entered. If you do not add how often to a start time, the timer will skip that start time. Once you have set how often you would like to water, turn the dial to auto. Congratulations! Your timer is now programmed. Your scheduled watering will only run when the dial is in the auto position. The timer will flash the next watering time on the screen when the dial is in the auto position. To stop all watering, turn the dial to off. Your timer has the ability to allow you to manually water without disturbing the preset program. This can be very useful if it is extremely hot 
you notice a dry spot, and your lawn or plants need a little extra water, or if you want to use your hose for a few minutes. To use this feature, simply press the manual button while the dial is turned to auto. You have two options for manual watering. You can either water both stations for their set watering duration, or you can select watering times from 1 to 360 minutes for one or both stations. To water a specific amount of time, press the manual button, press the station button to toggle to the desired station you want to water, and use the plus and minus buttons to set the duration you want to water. If you would like both stations to water, press the station button again and set a duration for that station as well. To water both stations for their programmed watering duration, press the manual button. The LCD will display the word all, and if no selection is made within five seconds, the timer will water both stations for their set watering duration. Once watering has finished, the timer will automatically resume your programmed watering schedule. To stop manual watering at any time, press the clear button. Rain delay allows you to delay your timer from watering for a set period of time. This feature is useful if you have gotten a lot of rain or if you notice your plants are too wet. To access the rain delay feature, press the delay button with the dial turned to auto. Select to delay anywhere from one day up to seven days. After the set period of time, the timer will resume the scheduled program. To manually remove rain delay, press the clear button. Maintenance and winterizing are important and will prolong the life of your hose faucet timer. When freezing temperatures are expected, timers should be removed from the hose faucet and stored indoors above freezing temperatures to avoid potential freeze damage. The inlet filter traps dirt particles from entering the timer, clean the filter regularly, and replace if it's worn. Now sit back and relax and let your Orbit Hose Faucet Timer take over your watering for you.